Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to start a new season or new playlist and in this playlist I will be talking about Azure DevOps and DevOps technologies as we move on forward with the course. To get started with Azure DevOps, let me just explain you what is DevOps. There are many many definitions or articles out there, you can read it out. But in my simple opinion, DevOps is a collaboration between your developers, operations team, test team, your managers and many other things and possibly in an automated way. For example, think of the old days. For example, there is a developer who has written some codes and they have tested it on their personal development machine or maybe laptop or something like that. Then they need a server maybe to host that. They had to reach out to IT team to procure a server, maybe a virtual server. Then the server team might reach out to some other team to get the storage, network and many many other things. Then once those everything is ready, then you run your code and maybe it's not running in optimum way or maybe you are not getting desired results due to some lack of different settings or maybe some other missing components. Then you run into a loop till you fix all the problems. Then maybe your code is up and running and okay for the users to use it. And it takes a lot of time, we all know. So in today's world, in DevOps terms, so there can be many automated steps. For example, the environment which I need as a developer, I can specify possibly in sample of codes, maybe Terraform or maybe Ansible or many other things. Those will provision all the required servers or maybe application environment as we need. By saying that, let's get started by creating a free account and running a sample job. We will put our sample cell script on git and that file will be executed from our pipeline. Now let me switch my screen to Azure DevOps screen. To get started with Azure DevOps, type in dev.azure.com and you can start your free account here. Just before that, let me just go to so here is the summary of your basic plan, what it includes. It includes one free hosted CI/CD pipeline and you can host your self-hosted agent as well. And you can have 2 GB of artifactory and such things. Those are absolutely free. You can check this page out. I'll put the link in the description. Let's create our free account. Click on start free. If you have a Microsoft account, that's fine. You can use that also. Otherwise, you can click on create one. I'm providing my email ID. You can choose a password, anything. You will possibly receive an email. Paste in your security code. Choose your country. That's India for me. Continue. And choose any organization name. It should be unique. Das Learning is already taken. Let me put something as maybe new. Where do you want to host your project? Central US is fine. You can choose anything. And if you don't have any Microsoft email address, that's also fine. You can use anything like I have used somnath.das at the rate daslearning.in. And you need to provide a project name. And project name can be anything. Let me put Das Learning. I think it's offering private only for me. So let's create the project. I will explain each and everything like what is organization, what is project as we move on forward with our course. But this is just a demonstration how to create your account and just get started with Azure DevOps. You have this overview dashboard where you can visualize many things once you create your own dashboard. You can have your wiki pages, boards to collaborate with your team, repository, your typical git repo but that's hosted in Azure DevOps. You do have your CI CD pipelines, test plans and artifacts. We'll explain everything as we go on forward. Let's go to repo and check what's there. What I will basically do, I'll put a readme, a sample readme and git ignore and I'll just initialize my main branch or repository for this project. Click on initialize. So my main branch is now created. Now what I like basically I can clone this repo now. To clone this repo click on clone and this is your URL. Let me open my notepad. As this project is private to me so I need some kind of authentication. What you can do is you can click on generate git credentials. Just click on this. So this is your username. Username is not required but still you will need only personal access token which is coming in the password and this is one time accessible once you close this screen you cannot get this value anymore but you can generate another token for that matter you can close this window come to your folder or directory where you want to store this code open your command prompt or maybe powershell and if you are using mac or any other ways you can open your terminal window and that should be fine as well type in git clone then this url 
paste it hit enter it will ask you for a password and your password is this one copy it paste it here and that's done now i can open this in my visual studio code just let me do that now open folder so go to your path select folder so i have nothing but my readme file you can create folders directory files anything you want let me create a folder called scripts and let me create a sample script for now maybe hello.sh so basically i am creating a sample shell script which i want to run from my devops if you know git i am on my main branch and if i open terminal from this prompt as well directory and file is there what i can do is you can check git status if you have done any uh, if i can spell it right status you see there is one untracked file in this folder so to add i can type in git add dot it will include everything that's in the directory or maybe where my entire git directory is located now i can commit something commit means you are saying your code is ready and you give one message to it that's git commit hyphen m and i can put any message like first shell script commit is done you can check your branch git branch i am on main now all the changes are made to the local if i head back to my repo if i even refresh it nothing will be there only the readme will be there because i have not pushed code to azure devops to push it just put git push origin main so that means you are pushing your changes from main to origin main that that means your cloud or devops and it will ask you for password again i need to give that password hit enter and that's done if you come back here again put a refresh there you have your code now to get started with pipelines click on pipelines create pipeline and you do have few options here you can have bitbucket github azure repo which we are using for this demonstration and other git and many other things or maybe you can use classic editor to create your pipeline without yaml so let me do that for now and going forward we can use yaml which is preferably the best way my project is selected which repo you want to choose that's already selected which branch click on continue and you do have several options click on empty job and name to your pipeline maybe test pipe for now agent pool will be as your pipelines agent means where your codes or maybe scripts will be running and you can choose your os accordingly maybe i can choose something called ubuntu latest that's fine with me and you can click on this small plus icon to add your task for us we want to run a shell script which we have already written in our repo you can check bash so we can run our bash script so these are marketplace i'll say plugins which you can use some are provided by microsoft itself click on add any name to your job we will explain each and everything as we move on forward but this is just a sample we want to demonstrate how to create your account get started with your repo and just run your first pipeline which will be entirely automatic and i need to provide that path and that's inside my scripts click on ok and if you want to pass any arguments you have some advanced options for now that's fine i've selected my agent that's runs on ubuntu latest that's my shell script path you can click on save and queue or maybe just save for now and you can choose your folder where you want to store your pipeline definition and this root directory is fine for me that's saved now to run this pipeline click on pipelines so this is your sample pipeline click on this and click on run pipeline just click on run we'll discuss about triggers how you can automatically trigger this and many other things but for now let's wait for this pipeline to finish and i think somehow my agent is not ready maybe i can use this link let me check maybe i need to fill up this form so i have to provide this organization details that's my organization so i think i didn't get parallel job might be i'm using some custom domain name which is daslearning.in and possibly microsoft is detecting this as a business account even after filling up the form it is not allocating anything but if you register with any microsoft account that means outlook.com or maybe gmail i think then it should be fine that that will be treated as personal account and possibly instead of zero it will show one let me show you my original account which i have created much earlier so let me jump over to that window i am using my personal email id which is my outlook.com 
and you see free tier has one parallel job uh, if I go to pipelines ignore the old pipelines if you click on new pipeline the same stuff which I was discussing use the classic editor and master is fine go with empty job and maybe Ubuntu again that's latest is fine agent job that's fine it will be inheriting everything on from the pipeline specification click on this plus icon maybe bash click on add and script path click on this three dot click on script click on hello sh and i can save or maybe save and queue this time save and queue means it will save your pipeline and it will run the first job first job save and run agent job one wait a bit it got code from my repo now if i go to bash script hello world so basically you can run anything be it python be it shell script be it terraform or maybe anything you want to run and that's about it we have learned the basic free account creation using your personal email ids clone your repo then run a simple job thanks for watching see you in the next videos we'll try to cover much into deeper devops knowledge in terms of azure devops thanks again